Hello YouTube, this is ConnectKid99 once again, and this is the moment you guys have all been waiting for, update 3 of 3 of my B&M Hypercoaster, which as you can see, made it all the way to the final break run, so that's awesome, it works, I'll show you that in a little bit, but first let's get into what I've added and what changes I've made to the existing layout that I had before. So first we added a little bit of um, structural um, elements just to um, make the hammerhead a little bit more shaped correctly and as you can see that, that is looking really nice. Also we made a little bit of an alteration, small alterations but an alteration nonetheless to the airtime hill. Made it a little bit taller. I don't know if you can notice from the last video but we made it a little bit taller because we had enough energy to get over there. Next we added this helix which is looking really nice all the way through and through. Um, it has nice banking. Now the only obstacle I had when I was designing this helix is I wanted it to go like midway between going above the bar and below the bar, but sadly you can't do that because obviously there's this big bulky, bulky bar here from my table, which my parents said I can't move. So I just had to go underneath it so the mid course isn't as high as I would maybe like it to, um, but I'm just gonna deal with it. And as you can see, I have the entrance into the splashdown. And because this is gonna be themed to a World War One era dogfight, I thought, you know, let's add some theming. So I'm going to call this a crashdown. It's because you have the like, flames and stuff like that. That's kind of cool. And then you have the final break run, which is really short. And it won't include real breaks because I won't have enough energy to get back to the beginning again. So I'm just going to run through and go back to the beginning. No um, breaks like in Goliath. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I've added from last time. It's a big update, I know. It's looking really awesome. Just take that all in. Really has all the elements of a BM Hyper. You have the tall air airtime hulls, the intense turnaround, the intense helix, the mid course, and a splashdown. So that's pretty freaking awesome. So let's just take you guys on a quick test run here. I'll just plug in the motor. There we go. Alright. Three, two, one, and we're off. It works really well, by the way. You'll see in a moment. And that's a successful test run. So yeah, it gets really slow like around there, but that's all it needs to get all the way to the end of the layout. And as you could probably guess, I'm gonna just have a quick turnaround and have a station right here back into the base of the lift hill. So yeah, that's update three of three guys. Expect a final video probably towards the end of January because I have final exams and stuff like that to study for. So yeah, I look forward to that. And also be on the lookout for my secret project trailer that will be coming out here in about two weeks for Air Coaster. If you're not on it, you should probably get it. But that's all for me right now. Connects Kid 99 out.